Hi there, and welcome to Cinema Nerds, the podcast. My name is Mike Turkus, and I am the editor-in-chief of CinemaNerds.com, your destination for everything movies. At Cinema Nerds, we have coverage of movie news, trailers, reviews, as well as the occasional interview. Every week on this podcast, we will be offering our views on the latest film releases, such as our topic today. The latest biographic film about a musician, Bob Marley, One Love, ultimately plays out more as a celebration of Bob Marley than as a warts and all biography, and that is to the film's benefit. Whereas the film could have become burdened by monotonously moving through Marley's life from one pivotal moment to the next, it instead bounces around the singer's story in a whimsical, often spiritual way that enables his saga to take on a more grandiose aura than might have been expected otherwise. Won't you help to sing These songs of freedom is all I ever have Redemption song When you write that? All my life. Bob Marley, One Love, begins with Marley and his band prepping for a free concert in Jamaica. However, when threats of violence against the singer should he perform put his health and well-being at risk, the actual performance is cut short, and the rest of the film begins to play out. What follows is an inspiring story of the singer's triumph over numerous adversities on his journey to becoming a musical icon he seems destined to be. Reggae is the people music. You know you're a superstar. I am a superstar. You can't separate the music and the message. You see, reggae music come for unify the people. Not everyone likes what you're saying. For your own safety, you need to stop. As the follow-up to director Ronaldo Marcus Green's impressive 2021 film, King Richard, Bob Marley, One Love, does not quite live up to the promise of its predecessor. It instead proves to be an able and engaging biography, but the stakes present in King Richard, or even those in another musical biopic like Bohemian Rhapsody, are simply not as organically present here, and the drama suffers a bit for it. Regardless, the script by Terence Winter, Frankie Flowers, and Zach Balin, from a story by Winter and Flowers, succeeds in telling a tale that gains momentum as it moves bouncily along until it ultimately builds to the gratifying crescendo of the film's final musical performance. On December 3, 1976, would-be assassins invaded Bob Marley's home and attempted to take the life of the singer, his wife, in it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. You like that one? Yeah. There's a war going on. Oh, I can't bring peace. I can't even get peace for myself. Rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun Three little birds It's by my doorstep Sometimes Singing. The messenger has to become the message As Marley, Kingsley Benadire shines more in the candid, more personal moments than in the crowd-pleasing concert reenactments. It is in those more singular scenes that the nuance of Benadire's work is allowed to shine most brightly. Overall, it is not a jaw-dropping performance per se, but it is one of the more meticulous and well-executed examinations of character acting that has been seen in a film such as this. Other players like Lashana Lynch as Rita Marley or James Norton as Chris Blackwell serve to effectively point out flaws that Marley quickly, or sometimes not so quickly, reacts to and overcomes or succumbs to. In short, all the characters are subordinate to Marley's, and 
there is no real problem with that other than a simple lack of variation. Even though Bob Marley One Love might not play as the most effective musical biography ever captured on celluloid, it does celebrate the singular talent of one of the most influential artists of the 20th century and reintroduces the greatness of his masterpiece, Exodus, for future generations. Bob, I know it's dangerous. But you're the only one who can unite the people. You ready, Bob? No guns can stop this message. I want the world to change. And that time is now. That's it for this episode. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to visit us on Facebook and Twitter and at our website at cinemanerds.com.